What's going on guys? Bobby with Consumer Time Capsule back with another review for you here. And today, for only the second time ever, we are on location at Wendy's. And yes. that's because they just came out with two desserts that we're pretty excited about. They took their Frosty and they made Frosty Cookie Sundays out of them. So they come in chocolate and vanilla. So what you've got is a base of their Frosty in whichever flavor you pick. Then they've got chocolate chunk cookies and what did we decide on? Ghirardelli? Ghirardelli. Ghirardelli or Ghirardelli. <laughs> Chocolate sauce drizzled on top of it. Oh, so good. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to try it out. What should we do? Vanilla or chocolate first? Let's do chocolate. Oh, classic. chocolate. Classic. Got to stick with the classic, right? Oh, so. I'm gonna get an action shot. Oh this. yeah, and I'm gonna unwrap your spoon while you action shot, okay. while you stage your action shot. Here we go. Make sure to get some cookie in there. Make sure to get some. Is it cookie of the dough topping in there? No, it's actual cookie. It's broken up pieces of cookie. Yum. So let's give it a okay. shot. Cheers. Oh yeah. So here's the thing about frosty. It's cold. It well, no, like no, no. It's, hurting you. it's actually not. It's actually it's it's really fairly reasonably tempered. <laughs> but like, I'll dip like nuggets or fries oh, yeah. or anything in a frosty because I do think it needs a little extra something and this is perfect like it it's getting the little extra something that it needs it is a little weird to make like a sundae out of something that's sockwood <laughs> solid and liquid <laughs> like, I starburst that word. that's a starburst uh, commercial uh, sockwood solid and liquid Okay. Ryan, okay. go ahead and get in there. This one is very chocolatey. Okay. It is very chocolatey because you got the chocolate base. Now, granted, a frosty is like a mixed up twist ice cream. I mean, it's half vanilla, half chocolate. It just looks chocolate because they blend it together. But still, plus the chocolate sauce, plus the cookie with the chocolate chunks. That's a quality cookie. But yeah, the cookie is really good. Um, very soft. Yeah, better than it needs to be to to justify inclusion. Oh yeah, Plenty keep keep on keep on working that one down. I'm gonna get into the vanilla one here. So I'm gonna share an unpopular food opinion. In general, I actually do prefer the vanilla frosty. What? Not by a wide margin, no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. but you know, all other things equal. I think I go vanilla a majority of the time. So. I don't know. Let's see how that compares and contrasts with the uh, cookie and the Sorry. Ghirardelli. Cheers. I'm going to do another action mm. shot on the vanilla. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is the right mix right here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There it is. Mm. Satisfaction. It is like... <laughs> Christian, I'm telling you, you were right. <laughs> he gave us a little spoiler about which one was better. So I'm gonna, I'm going to. Oh yeah, Ryan, you gotta try it first, of course. So I am gonna get into the capsule countdown first instead of the gimmick grade. By the way, I don't even know if I mentioned it. These are a dollar ninety nine a piece, which is super reasonable for you know like a dessert item at a at anywhere <laughs> at any time so not a bad deal um i am going to give second place to the chocolate version i think it's a little bit it's a little bit too chocolatey like you really you got to be tuned to uh, really dig the chocolate i think that the chocolate sauce comes off a little bit more overbearing when it's combined with chocolate than when it's when it's contrasted with vanilla and that's kind of the main thing holding it back. It is still a solid option, so I'm gonna give the chocolate version second place on today's Capsule Countdown in a six and a half out of 10. Ooh. What do you think about that, Ryan? I like the yeah, chocolate I love it. more. You like Actually, it more? I like what? it more. I love a chocolate Frosty. See, it's like a chocolate lover's Frosty, yeah. for sure. I mean, like, but you gotta be a, you gotta be a, a hardcore chocolate lover. lover. I don't yeah, it is, like that is true. That much. You don't? 
I mean, All right. chocolate ice cream. But I like Man, I gotta tell you, this one though, like you have the contrasting flavors that make a sundae so great. This is a little bit too much sameness for me, and that's why I'm gonna really stick with my number one, which is the vanilla frosty cookie sundae. Mm. Mm. The only reason why I wouldn't get a vanilla frosty is you can't even really dip fries and nuggets into it. Mm. This solves that problem entirely. I mean, it you get like, there's a certain saltiness to the cookie that makes it really pair with, uh, pair with, pair with the vanilla frosty really well. The chocolate is less overbearing because it's contrasted with the vanilla. So I gotta say, uh, first place on today's Capsule Countdown and eight out of 10 for me. So I'm, I'm pretty, uh, pretty happy with the vanilla version especially, but really, at $1.99, look, both. it's going to be a long, hot summer. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> You've got plenty of time to try both. I prefer the vanilla, but I would definitely like to hear what you guys have to say as well. And um, we're looking forward to our next review of Wendy's. Well, we should do it more often. Mm -hmm. We should do it more often. It took us a long time to get here, and, um, you know, now we've got friends, so... I mean, we had friends last time, but they forgot about us. <laughs> we had new friends. We replaced the old friends. I gotta say, this is gonna work out well because now I get to have the regular. You get to. Frosty. I know. This oh. should be the outcome of every single review where we disagree. Yes. But anyway, I did. I get it. I don't think I got a gimmick grade out. Oh no. Oh well, we almost really messed this video up badly. Uh, I'm gonna give the gimmick. I'm gonna give the gimmick a seven and a half out of ten. I think that it's cool that they're using an existing product with a lot of brand equity and in, in making just an important enough change to kind of make it a disruptive thing on their menu. And I'm all about it. You know, made us. Ryan was really excited to come and try these today. So uh, pretty, pretty great. Pretty great gimmick and uh, not bad execution either. So. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the review, and until next time, of course, I will miss you until I see, and Ryan's already basically killed the chocolate I one. I love it. <laughs> Cheers, guys.